join the crew Bob and the gang have so much fun Working together, they get the job done Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can Pilchard and Bird, Travis and Spud Playing together like good friends should Bob the Builder, can we fix it? Bob the Builder, yes we can Can you demolish it? Uh, yes, I can! <laughs> um, shall I do it again, Bob? Yes, Lofty. We need to knock all of this old building down so that we can build a new extension for Mr Adams, the architect. There's loads of bricks, Bob. What are we going to do with them? Well, Mock, I'm going to reuse them to build something else. Is that like recycling? That's right, Lofty. Hello, Bob the Builder. Hi, Bob. Just ringing to say goodbye. Have a great holiday, Wendy. I will. And don't take on any other jobs while I'm not here to help you. <laughs> I know what you're like, Bob. Don't worry. This extension is more than enough work. See you in a week. Bye! Hey Bob, how's it going? Oh, fine, thanks, Mr Adams. That's great, Bob. I'm really going to need this extra space if I win the competition. What competition? To design and plan a new town out in Sunflower Valley. Really? I used to spend a lot of time there when I was young, camping with my brother Tom. Oh, you love what I've got planned for it then, Bob. I'll give you a sneak peek if you want. Great! I've built a model to show my ideas to the judges. Been working on it for weeks now. What do you think? Oh, um, very nice. It's just a bit of a shock to see Sunflower Valley looking like a city. This bit is all hotels. And there'll be restaurants, nightclubs, gyms, golf courses. Oh, seems like you've thought of everything. Everything you could wish for. I'm going to make Sunflower Valley a fantastic place for holidays. People will come from all over. Well, it's a very good model. Thanks, Bob. I'd better get it finished. The judging's the day after tomorrow. Uh, Bob, why don't you enter that competition? I'm a builder, not an architect, Muck. Yeah, but you can think of ideas. And draw things. And you know more about building than anyone. <laughs> oh, well, thanks, team. But with Wendy on holiday, I've got lots of work to do here. The site's all cleared, so tomorrow we can start building. Have we cleared? Oh, yeah! Um, so what's Sunflower Valley like, Bob? You know what? I think I've still got some home movies from our holidays there. Oh, uh, can we watch them, Bob? I'll dig them out when we get home, Lofty. trouble with that goat. It ate everything. It's a very, very naughty goat, Bob. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? What will happen to all the sunflowers when they build there, Bob? Don't know, Roly. I suppose a lot of them will have to be dug up. Can't someone design something that won't spoil everything? So the sunflowers can keep their home. Well, let's hope so. <sighs> oh. Night night, Pilchard. Wow.
Orchard. I've got to win that competition and save Sunflower Valley. Come on, Scruffy, let go. I, I can't throw it for you again if you won't let me have it. <laughs> Wait for Spark! Listen, team, I've got something to tell you. I had a nightmare last night, and it made me realise that I've got to enter the competition. Oh, how exciting! It's not going to be easy. The deadline's tomorrow. Ooh. What's first, Bob? I've got some ideas, but I want to go to the library to check a few things out. What about the job, Bob? Can you not work on your own today? The foundations need laying. I'll mark them out. Yeah, we've done that a million times. Can we build it? Yes, we can! So. <laughs> oh, 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 good doggy. Oh, uh, where's your stick gone? Oh, what do you mean you've lost it? Now I'll have to find you another one. Come on. Oh. <laughs> wow. Well, that's clever. I never knew you could do that. I'm going to drop off my model at the town hall. Oh, let's see. But I thought the judging was tomorrow. It is, but I finished early and I want people to have a chance to get a good look at it. There's got to be a stick somewhere. <laughs> oh, Scrafty, I don't think you should have done that. Come back here, come back. They're not doggy sticks. <laughs> Well, good luck, Mr. Adams. Thanks. Oh, how's Bob going to build a model like that by tomorrow? Cool. That looks great, Bob. Right. Now to add some houses. Hmm. Oh, that doesn't work. Sunflower Valley just doesn't look right with houses. Yeah. I see what you mean, Bob. They need to, well, blend in a bit more, don't they? <laughs> Hi, Bird! We're trying to think of a way to build houses so they don't stick out. <laughs> Got any ideas? <laughs> no, Bird! I don't think we can build nests for people to live in. I get it. You're showing me how your houses blend into where you live. Hey, look, Bob. That's clever, isn't it? Brilliant. That gives me an idea. Why don't I try to build the houses into the sides of the hills? Ah, yeah. Good one, Bob. Right, Mark, let's dig out the foundations. Can we dig it? <laughs> Very funny. No, Skip, we can't. Look, the markings have gone. <gasps> but... <laughs> Scruffy, drop the stick. Drop the stick. Scruffy, stop. <laughs> oh, oh, good doggy. Those pegs were marking our foundations. Uh-oh. I told you those sticks were important, Scruffy. <laughs> Scruffy says he's sorry he just wanted to play stick. I'd better go and get Bob. He'll have to deal him again. But Bob hasn't got time. Oh, it's all right. I know where they went. Grass parts on the job. Oh, yeah. Houses with grass roofs. They're cool because they don't spoil the countryside. Oh, I know. You can reuse these bricks that we saved today to build one of those houses. <laughs> there aren't enough. 
Bluff Day! No, but it's a good idea. We'll reuse old building materials when we can because it reduces waste. Yeah, like recycling things. Reduce, um, reuse and recycle. Reduce, reuse, reuse recycle. recycle! Yes, that's what Sunflower Valley should be all about. Reduce, reuse, recycle! Piece of cake. It's just straight lines. See? Well done, Spud. Hey, everyone, guess what? My model's the talk of the town hall. Are there any other entries? Not yet. So I think I'm in with a really good chance. Oh, uh, that's great. Come on, Muck. Let's get digging. Aha! I knew I'd find a use for this piece one day. It'll make a perfect base for my model. Pedestrian area, not a race track. Chill out, Mr. B. I wasn't going that fast. Mr. Bentley, is that you? Ah, oh, good afternoon, Bob. I'm just escorting this young machine to the town hall. He's part of the prize for the Sunflower Valley competition. Yeah, the winner gets me, Scrambler, to drive them all around Sunflower Valley, off-roading, which is wicked, isn't it? Um, nice to meet you, Scrambler. I'm Bob the Builder. Hi, Bob the Builder. I'm entering too, you know, Mr Bentley. But the judging is tomorrow. Are you going to get a model built and write a speech by then? A speech? Oh, yes, Bob. Each entrant has to give a speech explaining why their idea is right for Sunflower Valley. Oh, I didn't know that. Well, we'd better leave you to it then. Bye for now. Come along, Scrambler. Hold tight, Mr B. Let's scram. Right, Dizzy. We're going to need lots of cement now, please. Coming right up! Finished! Good work, team. Now we need to let the concrete sir. That tree wasn't there before. It was on the other side. Oh, no. Must have done it wrong. Oh, we'll have to tell Bob. We better tell him right now before the concrete goes hard. Hurry! Oh no! That doesn't look right. What's happened? Scrafty pulled out the pegs, Bob. He was playing sticks. And Spud put them back in. And, well, we thought it looked OK. Until we saw the tree. I'm really sorry, Bob. We didn't want to disturb you and now we've spoilt everything. You'll have to fix this and then you won't have time to finish your model and... Whoa, Scoop, whoa. It's OK. If we work quickly, we'll be able to get the concrete up before it sets. Don't worry. Phew. And this bit in the middle is in the right place, so we can leave that. So what do we do with the concrete, Bob? We can reuse it as hardcore later. Reduce, reuse, recycle. What do you mean, Bob? It's what my plan for Sunflower Valley is all about. Come on, let's get going. Then you can get back to your model. Can we fix it? Yes, yes we, we can! can! Like there's a power cut. That's all we need. Bob has no time, no power, and no light. He'll never get finished now. The electricity company said it'd be back on soon. What are you going to do till then, Bob? I'll just have to work like they did in the old days. By candlelight with hand tools. Yeah! Go, Bob! Is 
electricity in Sunflower Valley? No, there isn't, Scoop. What did people do before there was electricity? Well, in the old days, water was sometimes used to power things. Like what, Bob? Well, hot water made steam to power steam trains on the railways. Choo-choo, 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 choo-choo! <laughs> any other ways of powering things? Oh, I know, I know. Remember the wind turbine that we put up for Farmer Pickles? Yeah! That used the wind for power! That's right! And sometimes we use the generator to power lights and tools. Some of your tools are powered by batteries. See? There are lots of different ways to make power. So what are you going to use for power in Sunflower Valley? Water, wind and sun. Stuff that's already there! underground houses I told you about. Oh, those are the wind turbines. <laughs> <laughs> Look at them go, Bob. Do we get to build all of this if you win, Bob? Oh, I don't think so, Dizzy. It's a huge job. They'll get a big building company in. Bob? No, not yet. I'll just have to wake up early and finish the model and practice my speech. Night, night, Bob. Good night, Scoop. As well as the hotels and leisure centres, there will be a massive shopping centre. People will arrive by the coach load to this place because it'll be bigger and better than anything you've ever seen. So you see, everyone, my plans for Sunflower Valley will really put it on the map. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mr Adams. Well, ladies and gentlemen, I'm sure you will agree that all of today's entries have been quite magnificent. I think the judges now have a very difficult job to do. No, wait! Just a moment. It looks like we have a last-minute entry from our very own Bob the Builder. Hurry up now, Bob! Uh, oh, um... Well, my idea for Sunflower Valley is very simple, really. It's about building that works together with nature. It'll be a community where people can work, live and play, but the buildings will blend in with the beautiful countryside. I want, I want to make, to make use of the natural, natural things, things out there and, and use them to make and save energy. energy. So everything would be powered by wind, water and sun. There's loads of that in Sunflower Valley. And we'll, and we'll build, build using materials that are recycled, recycled. So, so waste, waste will be reduced by reusing things. Some of the buildings will be built into the sides of the hills. And, and because, because they'll, they'll be surrounded, surrounded by, by lots of soil... They'll be warm in the winter and cool in the summer. Which saves energy! So, so basically, basically, what, what I'm, I'm saying, saying my idea, idea is to... Oh, help, help me out here, team! Reduce! Reuse! Recycle! And, um... Well, that's, well, that's it, really. really. Thank you for listening. Thank you, Bob the Builder. And without further ado, I ask the judges to go and make their decision. The winner will, of course, get to see their design built in Sunflower Valley and will also take home this exciting off-road machine. All right, everyone, I'm Scrambler. I can take you anywhere. Let's scram! Get 
gentlemen, after very careful consideration, the winning design for Sunflower Valley comes from an idea that impressed the judges with its inventiveness and forward thinking. The idea comes from... Bob the Builder! It's a vision that will build a community for the future. Blending in with its surroundings and using the natural resources around it for energy and power. Congratulations, Bob. It's perfect for Sunflower Valley. I wish I'd thought of it. Well done, Bob. Thoroughly well deserved. It gives me great pleasure to present you with Scrambler. Hello again, Bob. Well done. Thanks, Scrambler. Welcome to my team. Wicked. I think I'm going to have fun. No, Bob. When can you start? Uh, start? Of course. I wouldn't want your vision built by anyone else. Are you sure you'll be all right here? Oh, of course I will. Stop worrying. I want you to keep Scrambler for now so that you can get to Sunflower Valley whenever you want. Thanks, Bob. Oh, that's great. Yeah, I can't wait to go off-roading in Sunflower Valley. Thanks for coming to see us off, everyone. Oh, we will miss you all. Yes, indeed we shall. Yeah, and me too. I, I don't want you to go. Bye. Bye, everybody. Bye. Flowers. Well, team, this is it. Sunflower Valley. Wow! Oh, it's so beautiful. I've never seen anything like it, Bob. I think this must be the most beautiful place in the whole world. Really, really pretty. It's going to be a big new adventure. Can we build it? Yes, yes we can! Yes, I think we can!